Hello everyone. Today we will see how to create a cross account module in Terraform. But before starting, let's first understand why do we need a cross account module? So to understand it better, I have taken an example of VPC peering in AWS. So here we have a AWS account in which I have two separate VPC, let's say VPC1 and VPC2. And now I have to create a VPC peering between these two VPCs. So process is like uh, I will initiate a VPC peering from here. It will send a connection to this. Then this VPC will have to accept the connection. And once it has accepted the connections, then they both will exchange the routes. So this VPC will update the route table with the details of this VPC. And similarly, this will also update his route table with details of this VPC. This is the complete process. And let's say if we have to do that in the same account, then it is very easy. But the real problem comes when we have two separate accounts. So here, if you will see both the VPC are in separate AWS accounts. So this is let's say account one and this is account two. And now it becomes tricky because we are providing credentials for this account separately and this account separately. So this two way communication becomes a challenge because you can initiate a VPC peering from here, but same credentials cannot be used to accept the VPC peering from this account. So let's see how we can implement this. So we will start from how a single account VPC peering module will look like. Then we will see how we can modify that same module to work cross account. So I have this uh, GitHub repo on which I have put all my code. Link I will paste in the description section. So let's see what it has. So it has one directory which has all the modules. Then it has this directory my account. Uh, from where I will invoke these modules. So let's see what it has. So I have already created two accounts, one for VPC peering cross account, another for VPC peering same account. Similarly, uh, I have invoked these uh, modules from uh, separate places. So let's see how same account VPC peering will look like. So first of all, let's go to provider.tf. So in my provider.tf, I have just specified like I'm using AWS provider and these are my credentials because I am only using one account and both the VPC are in this account only. Now let's see what is inside this. So from this file, I am actually calling my module here. So uh, you can see I only have to specify these details. So uh, this is the source path of my module. Then uh, requester VPC ID and acceptor VPC ID. So here you will have to explicitly write down the VPC ID of both the VPCs and then the peer region. Now let's see what is inside the module. So my module has two files variable.tf and main.tf. Let's go to variable first. So this is my uh, variable.tf where I've defined all my variables. Uh, you can see peer region, requester VPC ID and acceptor VPC ID which I was uh, passing from where I was calling the module. Then I have few uh, data variables also defined here. Uh, this data variable will uh, extract the VP VPC object based on the VPC ID which is provided here. And uh, similarly, I am also extracting the route tables because I will be needing those route tables in order to populate the routes. So uh, this will be for uh, this will be for uh, requester, similarly VPC and route table, and this will be for acceptor, VPC and route tables. I have also initiated this variable. I think uh, you can leave it for now. Let's see uh, what is inside this. So as I earlier mentioned, uh, we only need four steps. Uh, so I will initiate the VPC peering first of all. Then uh, from the other VPC, I will have to accept it. Once that is accepted, then both the VPCs will exchange the routes. So this is for the first VPC and this is for the second VPC. So they both will populate each other's route table. Right. So this is simple. In case of single account, uh, they both the VPCs are in the same account and that's it. No, there is no problem. But let's let's assume, let's say uh, this thing I have to do from the first account. 
similarly my other vpc is in some other account then this acceptance has to be done from some other account so uh, the problem is i need some different credentials for this the same credentials which i have specified uh, in my provider.tf will not work so this is the problem so uh, in order to uh, get that solved we have to design a cross account terraform module which can accept more than one credentials and in that way uh, we can uh, design our module in such a way so that the first step is done by some different credentials the second step is being executed with some other credentials let's see that in action how we can do that so again uh, this was my terraform code uh, we saw how we have to do in uh, case of same account but let's see how it will differ in case of cross account so the first uh, uh, thing will be in my provided pf i will have to define one more credential so earlier i was having this credential only right now i have one more account on which my other vpc lies so i have to define uh, these credentials also in my provider.tf this is the first step so the second step is when i was calling the module i will have to pass these two credentials along with it so that uh, my module can make use of it so let's see how we can do that so if you will see here uh, these all thing uh, remain the same the only difference is here so here i am explicitly passing two providers the name of the first provider is aws dot requester and the name of the second provider is aws dot acceptor so you can see uh, i am using the default profile here aws only and in here i am passing the alias name so if you will see in my provider.tf my second account i have specified here and same thing i have passed in alias here so this is my default provider and this is my secondary or i will say alias provider so i have to uh, define two credentials here and both the credentials i am passing using this block so uh, this is the first thing you will have to change when uh, you are calling the module when you are calling a cross account module now let's see uh, what gets changed inside the module so inside the module uh, we will uh, see this variable.tf so the main change is this so as we are passing some credentials when we are calling the module similarly we have to make the module aware of this so, so in order to do that we are specifying this terraform block here so this terraform block simply says like uh, required provider is aws and i can have multiple configuration aliases and i can specify uh, the name of the alias like this so my first alias is let's say uh, i'm naming it as requester and the second alias i'm naming it as acceptor it can be anything i can write my name here also the only thing is uh, i have to use the same name across everywhere so let's say if i'm calling it requester here then i will have to uh, write requester here also right and similarly in the inside the module also so uh, till here uh, we have done three things we have updated the provider.tf with the uh, credential of other account also where we were calling the module we have passed both the credentials and inside the variable.tf of my module i have made it aware like uh, you can expect uh, few more configuration aliases with the name of requester and acceptor now we have to just update our module with this information so earlier if you will see uh, this is the same module uh, which i was using in the case of same account i just have just updated few small things here so this was the step when i was initiating the vpc connection right so you will see everything remains the same the only thing is i have added this extra line here and i am explicitly uh, asking him to do this particular action using these credentials so I'm, i have i am explicitly passing my provider here so what will happen this step will get executed using these credentials similarly the next step i have to do from my other account i have initiated the vpc pairing and i have to accept this vpc pairing from my other account so here also i have explicitly passed the provider as acceptor so what will happen this step will get executed with the credentials of first account 
and this step will get executed with the credentials of second account because I have passed provider as AWS dot acceptor and similar thing I will do in case of route tables also so this will get executed with the provide with the credentials of requester and this will get executed with the credentials of acceptor so this way uh, we can enhance any module uh, with credentials of multiple accounts the only thing you will have to do is first of all uh, you will have to make your module aware like you can you are expecting multiple credentials and similarly uh, as you are uh, passing multiple credentials here you will have to update the module accordingly like uh, from which credentials you want to do what step and then uh, simply you have to pass these credentials like this so just by doing these four uh, changes you can convert any module to work as cross account vpc peering was one example but the similar thing can be implemented across multiple use cases so one use case is let's say uh, you have your uh, load balancer in one account and your uh, route 53 in some different account and you will have to uh, design a terraform module which will let's say create your load balancer and as well as it will create a route 53 entry also so in that case again you will have two providers or two different accounts so what you have to do is you will have to update your module like this so that it can have two providers and then uh, you will have to update uh, this module also so that uh, specific action can be executed with specific credentials now let me mention a interesting thing you can use this cross account module for a single account also the only thing you will have to do is from where you are calling the module i was earlier passing two separate credentials let's say this was uh, my default credential and this was credential for some other account in case of using the same module for same a single account what i have to do is i will just remove this and i will pass in case of both acceptor and requester i am just passing the same credentials so just by doing this this module will work for same account also so i will suggest you should always create uh, things like this in a cross account way and let's say if you need uh, this thing for same account then you have to just pass uh, the similar credentials that's it you don't have to change anything else or you don't have to have two separate modules uh, like the way which i've just mentioned so i've just added these things just for the demonstration but uh, you can have this thing only uh, which will work both cross account and single account i have updated this uh, repo link in the description section so you can just check this out and do let me know if you face any problem or any query if you have related to this thanks a lot guys